Sports on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Batum. And Ben Yama's out there with Rudy Gobert. Then it's Evan Fournier. And it's DeColo in at the one spot. When you take a glance at the season and standings, Greg, teams are still kind of feeling things out. Yeah, it's just so early in the season, Kevin. And that means teams still trying to establish an identity as well as experimenting and just trying out new rotations. Here's Neto. Takes it inside, and he jams it with authority. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Here's DeCola, and he says, right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. And he makes both free throws. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Has to go bear. A tomb inside. He had 15 points last out. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. He's guarded by Fournier. The shot's good. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Fires for three. Good on the three-point shot. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Outside Fournier. Gobert with a screen for Fournier. That one's in his first shot this game. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now they can't miss. Four for four and warming up the burners. Gobert down low. Has to Wembenyama. And Wembenyama throws it down. Watch out. Wembenyama hammering that one home. Gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Passes it to Neto. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And he drives in. That one goes. Count it. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. Outside Fournier. There's the three. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Now he's got the long-range motion going now. Fournier for three. Here's Koulibaly. Pereira, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart, the other one playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Yeah, and there it is again on a lot of 
their possessions this first half. They've established great inside position. Come on, go get it, come get it. Here's Felicio, still scoreless. Chalk up two there. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Here's Lima, just five on the clock. Let's it go from deep. Traps in the tray. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. And after just one quarter of play, a double digit differential on the scoreboard. They lead by 12. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. Launches a three. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Well, he's a pass-first point guard, Neil Aquino, with a nice play there. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. And good that time. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Down low. Here's Neil Aquino. And the layup is good. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Gone one of three to start out the second quarter. There's a screen to the inside. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Now here's Jang. There's the drive. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Smart anchor, it passes Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Pereira drills the three-pointer. Seven points in the game. And guys, there are some you can give that shot to, but, but let's be clear, he's not one of them. Terrible job there by the D. Kicks to Decola. And he goes in for the dunk. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. Pereira, Jang defending. Out to the wing. Driving inside. And the powerful one-handed slam. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Caboclo's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Rudy Gobert is a fierce competitor. He says the average fan might not understand what I bring to the table, but the GMs in the league do. I want to be the best defensive player of all time. 
I want to be a force, and I want to win championships. I've got to set the tone every night. Kevin? And he does. He is a stopper, no doubt about it. David, thank you. They set the pick. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Here's Decola. Here's Decola. Shot clock at five. And finished off by Gobert. And the slam. If Rudy gets that ball anywhere near the rim, he is going to finish it. Here's Neto. To the middle. Plays it up and banks it in. Ten points for him. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Leading by 17. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. drama in the first half but maybe things will tighten up here in the second looking at 48 percent from the floor looking good they've got Gobert Batuma's out there with Wembenyama then it's Evan Fournier and it's Decola in at the point guard that's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half passes to Wembenyama and Wembenyama throws it down and if you give Batum some time to survey the floor, he'll find an open teammate. There's been just outrageous 64% from the field to this point. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations. But he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Shot clock at six. Floats one up. One on one fast break. Basket counts. He's got 12. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control is how they play thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. Rembenyama. And Rembenyama throws it down. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Platoon passes to Rembenyama. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Wem Benyama has got eight points. And standing easily over seven feet. When Wemby gets that ball near the hoop, literally nothing a defender can do. Inside, it's stolen by Gobert. Down low. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Zaykolo has got his second basket of the night. Pass to Lima. To the paint, Pereira. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. 
And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. The pass to Nilekina. Makes it off the glass. Nilekina's got his third basket of the night right there. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Driving to the basket. And that one's good, DeColo. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Poked away. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Up by 11. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. today's State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Batum scanning the floor. Six to shoot. Let's the three fly. Sinks the three-pointer. And won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Here's Lima. Pereira, Jang defending, and there it is for him. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Well, Greg, they're looking to make some big stops here to halt this rally. And luckily, time is on their side, but this is on them. They, they need to play smart here. A two, good. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Pereira. No good from outside. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. The shot's good from Fournier. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half, and that's a great way to cut into the lead. up the alley pass an emphatic alley jam oh and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence that dunk alone would have been spectacular never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop Nicolo passes to Wembenyama drops in the layup for two He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Here's Lima. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Rembenyama sets a screen for Batum. Top of the key jumper, no good. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found timeout, the timeout. look that they wanted, just didn't go in. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yeah. 
Left side, Fournier. Here's Gobert. And Gobert throws it down. It's Gobert showing some guts on that one. With that length, a good bet to get off a good look in that crucial moment. 61% showing all the indications of an offense that is locked in. Castaneda for three. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Back to Wembenyama. Fournier, that's for two. That drops. Nice feed that time from Wembenyama. Wembenyama's got three assists in the game. Outside, Batum. To tie it up. Wembenyama gets the bucket. Wembenyama's got 11 here in this quarter alone. How about the rookie with the big shot? Wembenyama showing us he can meet those high expectations. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Defended by Gobert. Inside, here's Caboclo, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Now, Wembenyama. They double-team Wembenyama. That is world-class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. Fifty-four seconds left to play in the final quarter. Defended by Gobert. Can't hit from the elbow. This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. Outside Batum. Here's Wembenyama. You like that. I mean, the rookie stepping up big time. And here's a timeout for Monty Williams. Twenty six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Defended by Gobert. Tie the game. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Over to the wing. And Benyama outside. Up top for two. Got it. Oh, big time from the two. A cool vet, and the pressure situations just don't get to him. And here's a timeout for Monty Williams. Guys, your thoughts? And with under two seconds remaining, they need something quick. Don't have time for an extra pass here, but if they want to try for a three off the inbound play and go for the win, definitely doable. Here's Caboclo. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. And so they get the victory here at home. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Rudy. This is a defense first team. And you picked it up in the second half. What changes did you make at the half? Uh, I feel like we're focused in the first half defensively, and uh, we just have to come back and communicate and just be focused, you know, and that's what we did. Attention to detail, Rudy. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.